Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at my Heimdaller Tuna watch. This is a homage to the Seiko Tuna. This is a model HMSX11, and it's a great timepiece. It keeps pretty accurate time. Uh, it looks good on the wrist, and I really enjoy it, but there's one thing about it that I don't like. You can see I have it on a NATO strap. It came with a pretty decent quality rubber strap, uh, but the problem is the shroud. If you, can, if you look at the shroud here, you can see the way that it's designed. The strap has to exit from the bottom. In fact, even getting this NATO strap on was a significant challenge. As you can see, when the rubber strap is in place, it's, it's exiting down and then moving over. So the watch ends up sitting up on your wrist like this, which is just unacceptable to me. So I am going to, using this little Allen wrench, I'm gonna take this shroud off and we're gonna take a look and see what options we have. So let me take the shroud off and let's take a look. All right, so after using this tiny metric Allen key, I don't know what size it is, I removed the four screws and the shroud comes off pretty easily. And then you can see it's a slightly different watch. So you, if the shroud was cut in such a manner that it allowed the strap to exit, then we would be able to have the rubber strap in place. In fact, I'm gonna put the rubber strap back on for a moment and we're gonna take a look and see what it looks like like this. In fact, this way it looks a little bit more like a, like a Seiko monster to me, and then a tuna. And then what we're gonna do is looking at this, we're gonna determine, can we actually cut a section out of here in such a way that it looks well done and that it allows that strap to exit. But before we do anything, Let's quickly get rid of this NATO and put the rubber strap back. And just in case you were wondering, look at what my NATO strap looks like after about a year of being on there, how tight that setup was with that shroud in place. This is why we've got to fix it. All right, so here we are now with the rubber strap back in place. It sits a little bit better without that shroud on there. And let's take a look and see what it's like on the wrist. It, uh, as you can see, it sits pretty flat like this. And that's actually not bad. In fact, I like that better than the NATO already. And of course I put the NATO on because I did not like the configuration of this with the shroud on there. So now if we take the shroud and we drop it back in place. So once you lower it all the way down so that you could put the screws back in, now you're back to this, right? And that is just not gonna sit flat. So the question becomes, can we modify this in order to work? Because I do like the look of the tuna can. So now we're gonna take a look at what we can do with this guy. Okay, so I've temporarily slid the shroud back into place. And in this mode, you can see how impossible it is for the strap to come out of there. So I put it back together so that I can just take a Sharpie and holding this in place, just kind of mark the line on each side in terms of what I need to do here. If we take that back off and take a look, we can see I've got to make a cut basically along that ridge. Now I want to be careful when I do this because if I cut it, along the ridge there, while the holes are gonna be in place, I am gonna be just cutting into the lower edge of these recesses, recesses here. I don't wanna do that. 
So I'm gonna use a little bit of masking tape to tape a line on the front, and then we're gonna go ahead and cut this. Actually, I think I'm gonna use electrical tape instead. All right, now by doing that and using the factory straight edge of the tape, I've marked where I wanna cut. You can press the tape down and actually see the indentations of those holes, so this is gonna be close. I did that on both sides here. Now to cut this, I've got a couple of options. I've got a power hacksaw um, that uh, I think is probably just a little too much. You could take it on a grinding wheel and do a little bit at a time. I am going to try to cut this very carefully using a Dremel tool. So let's take a shot at doing that. All right, so you can see there my line wasn't perfectly straight, and this is just some grease or the finish coming off of here. I'm not sure which, um, but that's not bad. So let's just take a shot carefully at the other side and see how it goes. All right, so again, not, not a perfectly straight cut, but I think I got the job done. And on the watch, I don't believe you're ever going to notice that. I gotta clean this up a little bit, but I think the next thing for us to do is just drop it on the watch and see if we got the right results. Then I'm gonna polish this and decide whether or not I wanna keep it in this color. And you can see, you know, this, this cheapo finish is kinda of coming off. So I'm thinking I'm either gonna remove the entire finish or maybe I'll just paint it black, but let's see if it works on the watch. Here we are a little while later. We've got the watch. I put the, the strap back on it. And here's our modified piece. If you can take a look, yeah, this is one area where we cut. And then over here next to the crown is the other area. I just quickly removed that crappy finish. You can see a little bit of it on the inside. So I'm gonna decide what I wanna do with this. But for the time being, Let's pop it back on there and see what kind of a difference our changes have made. And now it drops all the way down and it does not interfere with the strap, which is good. So let's put the tiny little screws back in there. And I'm gonna do this off camera because it's a little fiddly and then we'll take a look. All right, here we are with the shroud back on. I actually think it looks pretty damn good the way that I've got it. And now you can see it sits much flatter than it did when we started. And let's take a look and see what we've accomplished in terms of actually wearing this thing. All right, done. Here we are on the wrist and you can tell now it sits flat. You don't have that dorky thing on either side getting in the way this is much more comfortable look at it from that angle beautiful and i just think that this is a tremendous improvement and looking at that you'd never know unless you look at it really close and nobody cares that uh, that i fooled with this now would i do this to a thousand dollar plus seiko tuna i doubt it or i'd be a lot more careful you know this heim dollar replica is uh you know, it was probably 150 bucks when i got it it's probably about that same price right now and this is just this makes a world of difference so 
Hopefully this is useful, and if it is, do me a favor, like, and if you like my content, subscribe. Thanks, guys.